Each spring, state researchers capture female sage grouse. These elusive birds are part of a decade-long study looking at grazing impacts on sage grouse. The main goal is to look at the effects of grazing on sage grouse population and their habitat. And part of that goal is to evaluate the sage grouse initiative program that's been set up by the Natural Resource Conservation Service. This farm bill program assists ranchers in setting up grazing systems and to study the yeah. program's effectiveness on sage grouse conservation. Researchers also track sage grouse chicks. We're looking at direct effects of grazing on chick survival, which hasn't really been done. And because it's long term, we'll get some great information about what the population does over 10 years. With the possibility of being placed on the endangered species list, sage grouse are getting a lot of attention these days. From the governor's Citizens Advisory Council to federal programs helping ranchers implement grazing systems. And another reason this research is important and help gather information to conserve sage grouse. It's how good are they? If you're not seeing big jumps in populations, are they just maintaining status quo? What are the numbers doing? We know that it's going to be good, but how good? With this new focus on sage grouse conservation, this research project also hopes to bring more attention to the sagebrush prairie. In some respects, people call sage grouse an umbrella species. We have sage grouse, but there's a lot of other species that they're going to help along the way because of the conservation. So that's a really big thing to come out of it. And that's why we're collaborating with other researchers. And ultimately, state and federal agencies yeah. hope this research will conserve sage grouse across the western U.S. Winston Greeley, Adam Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.